Hello, my little genius. Welcome back to Reading Fun with Teacher D. Now today, we'll be reading about family. And it's called Full, Full, Full of Love. And it's a story about a little boy who goes for a visit at his granny's house. Full, full, full of love. On Sunday, Mama took JJ to Granny's house. I'll go get Dad, Mama said. I won't be long. Gran is so soft and warm and full, full of hugs and kisses. Kiss, kiss, hugs and cuddles. Granny was cooking. The dinner smelled yummy. Is dinner ready, Gran? asked JJ. But Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's put out the dishes. Granny's cupboard is always full, full of colorful dishes. Clink, clank, clatter, clatter. But JJ was hungry. Is dinner ready now? He asked. Gran shook her head. Dinner is not ready yet, she said. Come, let's feed the fish. Granny's fish tank is full, full of all kinds of fishes. Splash, splish, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, look at the fishes. But Jay was hungry. So Jay asked again, Is dinner ready now, Gran? Gran shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's. Then JJ saw the candy tin. Granny's candy tin was full, full up to the brim. Tip, tip, struggle, juggle. Oh, look at all the candy falling out of Granny's candy tin. Gran said, no. But seeing all that candy had made JJ even hungrier than before. So he asked again. So he asked again. Is dinner nearly ready, Gran? She shook her head. Dinner's not ready yet, she said. Come, let's look for the others. So they looked out the window and they waited and waited. Tick, tock, snuggle, cuddle. Then JJ saw a car come around the corner. Then another, then another. And the car stopped one behind the other. And out they all came. Uncles and aunties, cousins and friends, Mama and Daddy, all come for a Sunday dinner at Granny's. Dinner must be ready now, Gran, JJ grinned, and Gran laughed. Mm-hmm, I think it is. There were buttery peas, chicken and yams, macaroni and cheese, potatoes and ham, biscuits, gravy, collard greens, pasta salad, rice and red beans, there was apple pie and vanilla ice cream, fresh peach cobbler covered in steam, raspberry sauce, coffee and tea, plenty, plenty for everybody. JJ said, I'm going to pop. And cousin said, I have to stop. More pie, please, uncle said. And auntie and mama shook their heads. Not for me, I've had enough. Granny let out a big belly laugh. <laughs> Dad said, just a little bit more. And on top of his cobbler, Gran started to pour more raspberry sauce. Everybody was full. Full of Granny's dinner. Yum, yum. Giggle, giggle. Then Granny pulled up a footstool, put up her feet and sighed. All right, you kids. One wash, one dry. 
On Sunday, JJ had dinner at Granny's house, and when it was time to go, he climbed on Granny's lap. He kissed her and she kissed him back, and then they hugged and hugged and hugged. They hugged some more. He kissed her and she kissed him back, and then they hugged and hugged and hugged, and full of hugs, they hugged some more. Granny's house is always full, full of hugs and kisses, full of tasty dishes, full of all kinds of fishes, full to the brim with happy faces, full, full, full of love. That's Sunday dinner at Granny's house. The end. Now wasn't that a very interesting story? Now that's all the reading fun I have for you today. Goodbye, my little friend.